many many people want to become the best youtubers the best vloggers the best influencers but it's it's quite difficult it's not as easy but still other people have been able to make it in this field so how are you going to become a very very great person in the field of online you know in the online world in whatever thing you're doing your business your everything because brick and mortar businesses are, are, are I can say brick and mortar businesses are already finished you know they, they, there's no more brick and mortar so how are you going to do it in the online world and become the best influencer the best social media marketer or whichever thing that you may want so today I'm teaching you exactly ways to grow your social media following quickly So, point number one, become consistent. Consistency is key. At least if you want to make it in the social media world, don't tell me that you can be able to stay a whole week without updating a video. How about at least one video or two videos that you upload? But even if you can be able to upload every day, that is okay. That will be even much more better. But at least upload minimum one video in a day. And of course, uh, have the same message for your channel many people uh, this is where they fail you want to become a gym instructor you're teaching people how uh, 30 day uh, body workout for me I'm not very good in working out so that is a channel which cannot work for me so you want to show people how they can work out for 30 days and today you show about uh, trying the biceps and all that tomorrow you're talking about business the other day you're talking about social media the other day you're showing cooking for God's sake, you've already confused your audience. Show them if it's, uh, is, uh, you're talking about fitness, is fitness. If it's cooking, is cooking. If it's social media, is social media. If it, At least you can have maybe two or three things that you're talking about in your channel, but on different days so that everybody knows exactly what you post. Like for me, I speak about business on Monday. I speak about social media on Wednesdays. And on Fridays, it's a feel-good Friday. So I talk about traveling and experiences and so many things about traveling traveling so i have differentiated the same so that i can have a consistent flow of the guys that who watch my video that is you guys so make sure that you become consistent consistent with whatever you're doing and consistent with posting the other point is um quality quality is key they say that value of the content should be 80 percent value 80 percent and then uh, production and equipment can be 20 percent you know many people think that uh, is equipment which make a good content or is equipment that pe people will watch if you have shot the video in a red camera and somebody else has done it with a with a with a mobile phone there's a big difference and people will watch what you No, it's not like that you must have good content you must have good content which is 80 percent there are some places that i th there are some videos that i watch and because they have a very good content and it's exactly what i'm looking for even if the camera is shaky everything is just blurry and all that i don't mind because they're giving me the information that i want people want value they want value for their time they want value for whatever they're looking for they're not just looking at the equipment yes equipment is very good it consists about 20 percent because 20% of the video should be equipment so what you post post a good video yes well edited and all that but the content is king point number three entertainment have interesting stories who doesn't want interesting things inspiration motivation even if you're saying something always have some fun part of it don't just be all gloomy and looking as if the the world is ending it's like we the third world war started no just have something be interesting today's world most online guys are basing on value and entertainment value and entertainment giving enough good content which is really good content mixed with entertainment because entertainment is key nobody wants to see something which is boring no matter how good it may be so make sure that you give some entertainment you can say a joke you can say 
um, show maybe a, a plucking you pluck and put in something which is funny m make something interesting make some pop-ups eh, down up and all that make something in interesting entertaining so that way people will love whatever you do there's a guy I like so much um who does a vlogging called Charlie? You can just go and check check him out. Check him out. It's called the Charlie's Channel, I think. He really does so much. I'm, I'm not promoting uh, him or something, but I'm just saying, let's go and check him out. He's one guy that you really enjoy because of the fun part and how he does these uh, things in a better way, in a more entertaining way than maybe most vloggers. Point number four is education, education. Teach others and deliver value, teach others. Are you teaching people exactly something that they can learn? Are you teaching people? Or are you just giving them stories which have no meaning or anything? When I, when I started watching videos about social media, I love a lady called Erin On Demand because every time I watch her videos, she's always talking some sense, educating people on different fields in a very systematic manner. She, um, I've been listening a lot and watching from different guys and I see exactly how they do their videos and you find one thing that makes them be loved more is how you articulate your points, point after point, point after point, because people are looking for information, they're looking for education and even if you're saying a very good thing and you're not scheduling it very well, like point number one, point number two, point number three, at the end of the day, people will come out from there having had nothing because the way I know people, they two, three minutes of spending in a video and there is nothing valuable, they are going to switch off and go. And then your retention is going to be very poor in your YouTube channel, in your social media and whatever. So give education. Even if you're, you're traveling, say something which will educate people. This, this is a new place, it's called this. Uh, uh, several people um, walked here when this happened and president so and so touched this stone some years back. Educate people about something. Let them know. It's not just about you, but also educating people. Point number five is connection. Connection is key. Build a community. Are you building a community? When I talk about building community, I mean connect with people. Comment whenever they send a comment, you can reply. You can always like, you can always make them feel we're together. You can give some uh, tips and tricks. You can give some free uh, shows or maybe a seminar that you're speaking. Just give a free ticket or two. Connect with them. Let them share your information. Let them uh, inform others about what you're doing. Talk to them. Become a community. Bring other guys who they love and interview them so that they can feel weird together connection is key if you want to grow in your social media that's why in radio you will hear a presenter present today present tomorrow present the other day and the fourth day or the third day they will call someone and they will interview them because this person is loved by the audience and the moment they bring someone to interview uh, the audience is going to love the show more why because they are connecting with someone that they love connection is key when you want to build your brand and the final thing is content like I said previously, content is king. Content is king. So place yourself in the viewer's place. Are you giving content which a viewer might like? If you were the viewer, would you really sit down for one whole hour and listen to what yourself you're speaking? Would you stay there and listen? So if you can be able to sit down and listen, then no, you're giving a good content. So content is everything. Make sure that the way you shot the video is good, the way you're explaining is good, your voice is articulate, master your words, master your everything, master your emotions. Your, uh, <laughs> I always laughed about some guys saying, the other communities and some friends who laugh with, all, with no, with no uh, facial expression, uh, you know, this kind. And then you ask yourself, how does someone just laugh with no facial expression? It, it doesn't work like that, you know. There are people who, who are like that. They, they never show emotion. So try and see. Show emotion. Show exactly how you feel. If you're feeling good, show it. If you're feeling bad, show it. Let other people understand you and let them feel what you are feeling. I think that one has been a great, great information, especially for the young and upcoming YouTubers and social media influencers and whatever, call it. So
so guys kindly you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can hit that notification button so that you don't miss any new video because it's about to get bigger and better and i don't want you to miss if you're watching on facebook or instagram you can like comment share and tell somebody else so that maybe this information can help them in one way or another god bless you and have a great great time